Hi guys. I just wanted to come and say hi to you. Uh, my name is Christina Maxwell and I was asked to do the vlog for this week. I spent a good week trying to figure out what on earth I could possibly vlog about since I'm not a video type person, nor do I like talking into video cameras. I came up with a couple different things, um, but today I decided to do it on spending time with God. In my life, it's very busy. I have four kids, a husband who's a police officer that works 10 hours a day, and our life has changed a lot since we're now stuck at home, and my four children are used to going to gymnastics and martial arts and to um, Berea Academy. We're used to going constantly. And so I feel like since we're at home that we should be spending a lot more time with God and he's kind of given us the ability to do it. However, at my house it's hard to be by myself because I have two smaller children who like to find me everywhere I go. And instead of it just being me spending quality time with God, I've developed a thing with my children doing it at the same time. Um, we get a journal out and we get, uh, like I will get a Bible and Gracie will get a Bible, my daughter, and then my younger ones, I will give them more of like a picture book kind of Bible or, you know, just like a story book that has some of the stories from the Bible. And what we do is we set a 20 minute timer. I turn that timer on. Each of the children have a, a journal and a, some type of book. And we just spend quiet time, 20 minutes of quiet time, which is not, mm -hmm. not too hard for the kids to do. But we spend 20 minutes in the Word. Like I'll spend 20 minutes praying and reading God's Word. Uh, my 14 year old, she would do the same thing, but my seven year old and my five year old, they will look through the Christian books, story books, children books that I give them. And sometimes uh, the seven year old will read through it, but the five year old, he really can't read. So he'll look through the pictures and then they just start journaling in their journals. They have uh, crayons or colored pencils or markers and stuff and they pray and they look through the books and then they, they draw out, if they can't write, they draw out what they feel like God gave to them or if they can write, they write out what they feel like God gave to them. And I will tell you what, at the end of those 20 minutes, they are the most precious, amazing time uh, that I, I've spent with God. Is having your kids involved in that kind of time with you, it's just so precious and I would encourage you to do that. So I'm going to videotape our 20 minutes doing our quiet time with the Lord. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. What's his name? Jesus? Je Jesus without a mustache. Hey, Grace, see how to spell Let's Marlin. see. Show me your picture. Grace, how do you spell Marlin? Let's Jesus. see. Let me see. I'm going to do a close up. Okay, move your arm. And this is. Wait, how do you spell the baby in the picture? So, M A L. What do you feel like that picture says, Gabriel? Gabriel, look at look at the camera. What do you feel like that so, picture says? M A R. Now what? Oh, okay. God 
Love L. U. God loves you. Yes. N. So N A R L O N. And it's a die N. I love everybody. I will heal. Oh, the children are sitting. No, the baby. The horse from Jesus. And okay. And her the 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 little the little is standing up. How do you spell creative? And your flowers. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go to Isabella now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we'll go to Isabella in just a second. Okay. Let's go to Gracie. Okay, I got a verse, which is Psalms 31, I verse 21 through 22. It is, Praise to the Lord, for he showed his wonderful love to me. When I was in the siege yeah. city, in my alarm, I said, I am cut off from your sight. Um, yeah, you've heard my cry for mercy when I call to you. Yeah, and what do you feel like that verse, Grace? How, what did that verse say to you? Um, I feel like it says when I'm like crowded by all the people in the world who are like covering me from God, but I He still hears my prayers and still hears me even when I don't think He does. So when you're overwhelmed. God, or whenever everything seems like it's so crazy, God still hears you. Yes. Yeah, that's a good verse. <clears throat> All right, Isabella. Okay. Um. So my Holy, I mean, my Spirit told me this. The, I, the Holy Spirit told you. Yeah. I love everybody. I will heal Marlon. I made you. Can you tell us who Marlon is? Oh. He's this little boy who doesn't have a home, and he's, like, poor. And you so, pray for him? Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so that was our devotion. And as you can see, you know, most of the times the, the kids were quiet and praying and writing in their journals. And sometimes you can see Gabriel move around and stuff because he is five. But I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a great week. Be safe, wash your hands, and pray, pray, pray. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.